Hello guys, welcome back to Assassin's Channel. Welcome to part 3 of a room and makeover series. So in this episode I'm going to show you the process of building Aurora Nano Leaves, which actually took quite a while, uh, like I believe two weeks or so. So the first step was to cut the aluminium, and for this we actually used the shop of our friend because we don't have any necessary tools to do it. Uh, we also ran into quite a bit of problems. Um, so first of all, it wasn't able to cut by 60 degrees. This car goes only to 45, which is actually logical if you think that this is made for windows or for triangles. Um, so what we did, we actually put um, pushed aluminium 90 degrees into the cutter and then cut by 30, so we got 60. It was a bit of workaround and that kind of caused the pieces not to look perfectly, so later on we had to do a little bit of adjustments, uh, but um, I was actually surprised that they managed to even cut it uh, without uh, proper tools. So here you see the pieces and now we're assembling the triangles uh, just to see kind of how roughly how it's going to look. Next thing that we had to do is to clear out the pieces a bit uh, because when you cut them a little aluminium is left on the sides and then we could proceed to assembling them. Okay, so as I said, uh, because of the workaround we had to do, we wasn't able to hold aluminium perfectly, so the pieces didn't end up looking, uh, you know, perfect as they could. Uh, so I needed to lay them out in groups of three to find the, the ones that fit perfectly together, uh, and then I used tape to secure them uh, until we glue them. Um, so this way they're gonna look uh, the best as possible. So the gluing process was really simple, first of all we heated up the aluminium to give the uh, hot glue more time to cure and then we just, you know, added glue and that's it. So after this, the next step was to find the diffuser plastic on the front, and we actually used one from the TV uh, with broken screen, so they definitely don't need the plastic anymore. Uh, it's a really big one, and we managed to fit all the pieces onto it, obviously. Uh, the cutting was not really easy, but we used copper to, uh, to do it, and then we later adjusted them by taping them to a triangle and then just, you know, uh, sculpting the, the leftover. So after that we decided to create our first prototype and uh, that's where we realized that we actually need 4 LEDs per corner so 12 LEDs in total that actually ended up being uh, enough. Uh, also keep in mind that in real life it looks way better if you don't have a lot of these bleed bleeding spots you have a bit brighter spot but not this much. So it looks way better in real life. I'll try to take pictures later uh, to show you how it looks in real life, as you know, as, as realistic as possible. Uh, but yeah, this is working prototype, and uh, you'll see it one more time after we add the uh, corner covers. After I seen the prototype, I laid out the triangles in the shape I'm going to use, I marked all of the holes and it was time for drilling. So for the first hole I used the hand drill just to see how well it will go, how the holes will end up looking, do I need a bigger one, etc. 
and then I switched to the power tool because I'm not planning to drill 12 plus holes <laughs> with the hand drill. But it was fun though. I also did some cleaning with the knife, it made the holes look perfect. Now it was time to put LEDs into the triangles and then glue the triangles as I was adding the LEDs. So this process took uh, two days, uh, about 12, work, uh, 12 hours of work total and it was really exhausting actually but it was fun at the other hand. So I need to cut all the LEDs into you know this uh, four LEDs per piece pieces <laughs> and then I also cut the uh, the wires and 15.5 centimeters. I decided to put every LED strip into you know exactly the same spot in every triangle. This helped light look perfect in every triangle, even though it took a lot of time, it ended up paying off. Uh, also, I was using the double sided tape to glue uh, the LEDs to the aluminium as well as the wires so I don't have the shadows. So, if you didn't realize, I was using the digital strip. I mean, I think I already mentioned this in uh, first episode, but yeah, here I go again. So, this helped me a lot in uh, the building because the first idea had a lot more soldering, a lot more wires, and also coding is way easier with this. So, yeah, it is a little more expensive, but definitely. Not. Something we realized a little bit later is that the power supply that we've been using isn't strong enough and as you can see here this is supposed to be white but I ended up switching to orange at the end and you can see now it's switching back to white as we turn off the LEDs. So we have to find a stronger power supply but um, other than that everything ended up looking even better than we actually expected. So after this it was time for painting, we masked everything off and then we used the white paint first and then black paint to cover up the LED uh, you know, light. Uh, so we decided to put the painted side in, on the bottom and the normal one, you know, not painted one on the top. Uh, this actually helped us in getting the blurred line instead of the sharp one and I think it, look, it looks pretty good in my opinion, better than uh, an opposite, so I'll show it to you in just a second. Uh, so I wasn't home at the end of this project, so my father finished it up, so he did uh, glued the uh, triangles to aluminium uh, using 2mm double sided tape. Uh, he added these white reflective surfaces on the back to you know, spread the light better, and he hanged it on the wall using just two uh, screws. So yeah, that's about it, now let me show you how it looks. Okay, and this is it, this is the final product, it looks really good uh, from the first side. I can't really tell is it original or not. So the project ended up costing about 35 bucks and compared to original roars that are 200, I think this is a pretty good. It took quite a while but I like how it looks in the end. Uh, tell me in the comments down below what do you think and see you in the next episode. Bye!